Hey there, hope you're having a great day so far. Okay, I got another question for you to start our time together. Have you ever been really scared in a big rainstorm? I know I have before. Well, here's a picture of several years ago, I lived in a town called Beaumont and a huge storm came in. In fact, it was a hurricane called Hurricane Rita and it did incredible damage. I wasn't even home, but I was worried about our house. And fortunately, my house ended up being mostly okay. But here's a picture of a neighborhood that was almost completely destroyed by the storm. It's kind of a before and after picture. Well, a similar storm was coming to where Noah and his family lived, but it was going to be even bigger with even more flooding. So like we talked about yesterday, God gave Noah specific instructions on how to build a boat. And when the boat was done, God told Noah to take two of every animal and put them on the boat with his family. Then they loaded up the boat with all the food that they would need for themselves and the animals. And they got in the boat, and it even says that God came and closed the door. And then they waited for the rain to begin. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained. The Bible says it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And then finally, the rain stopped, but the water was still all over the place. And then the Bible says that the boat came to rest on Mount Ararat. And that was after five months of being in the water and on the boat. But they had to stay in the boat even longer because there was still so much water around. Then finally, Noah sent out a dove to see if it, the bird would find any dry land. And eventually, the bird came back with an olive branch. And Noah knew that things were beginning to dry out. So finally, they were able to come out of the boat. The Bible says they were in the boat for just over a year. And they were so thankful to see the dry ground. And they were so thankful that God had protected them. And then God made the promise to them that he would never flood the earth like that again. And as a sign of his promise, God put a rainbow in the sky. So to this day, the rainbow serves as a reminder of God's promise. And it reminds us of how Noah loved God. You know, I'm guessing that Noah had no idea how many years it would take to build the boat when God first told him. And I don't know if Noah had any idea that they would live on the boat for a little over a year. And yet through it all, Noah was faithful and did all that God asked him to do. And as a result, Noah and his family made it through the storm. And you know, the same is true for us. When we stay faithful to God, we can make it through any and all the hardships in life. We can weather all the storms. Let's pray and thank God for his faithfulness. Dear God, thank you for helping us get through all the storms of life, all the uncertainties and all the hard things, kind of like what we're going through now. And Lord, because you are faithful, we can make it through anything. Thanks for never leaving us on our own. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you've had a great week. Um, and had a lot of fun learning about Noah and the ark and all the things um, that we talked about. And so finally, our final activity is a picture of the boat with the rainbow in the background and the mountains in the background and the birds flying. Um, hope you enjoy coloring it. And again, to end our time, we'll sing Good, Good Father. Sure hope you like the new song and uh, hope you enjoy dancing and singing along. <laughs>